team I love me 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 so welcome back yes this is the second video of the day stay tuned Team, I love me, me, me. Welcome back. So in the interest of Christmas, I wanted to come back and share one of my story times with you that is personal to myself, where I am sharing with you guys a real life miracle. And in the interest of Christmas, I am in a collaboration with Clueless Mama D, who was actually the host of this collaboration, and a few other YouTubers. And we are telling you guys our real life miracles, right? So now, of course, there will be a playlist down in the description box below. So you make sure that you go ahead and support some of the other miracles, the best real life miracles. So let me go ahead and fill you guys in on this juiciness. So I'm sure that you read the title. Yes, honey, I was fired before in my life. And I was actually perturbed by it. OK, so here's the skinny, right? We always have haters in our life, right? And even on my channel, as much as you guys know that I believe in God, I don't necessarily talk about it every single video, but I am a true believer in God. So let me just put that out there. So that is me, right? And so with that being said, we all have these haters in our lives, but I truly believe that sometimes God sends people to us to give us that push that we would have not taken on our own. So here's what I mean by that. So yes, I was fired. Let me get back to the story. So it was this lady that I used to work with. And at the time, I was working on my bachelor's degree at the time. And um, I was just working pretty much as an assistant within this laboratory. And um, they basically just liked my work ethic. And this one particular lady, her name is Connie. Yes, I'm throwing her name out there. Her name was Connie. And so she was like gun ho for me. Can I just back up and say, really? <laughs> I am feeling these reindeer ears. Anywho, right? So her name was Connie, and um, she was gun ho for me, too. They had a position coming up, and she liked my work ethic and all of this stuff, and everybody else around there did, but she kind of had a name for herself, and you know kind of how those people are who kind of like brown nose a little bit, but she was in with all of the doctors and everything, right? So she went to the main doctor, and she was like, hey, Marshawn is X, Y, and Z. She's really good. She's working on her bachelor's degree. Basically, let's go ahead and promote her. So with, with, with Connie's suggestion of me being promoted, literally, I did not have to uh, apply for this position so that's miracle number one okay like that's a few miracles within this whole story so I don't even have to apply for this position I wasn't even really looking to be promoted but yeah of, of, who don't want to make more money so yeah I was going from like 20,000 to 40,000 so yeah double my salary yeah okay do that so anywho Right. Long story short, I'm working here for now for a few years. I'm, I'm still in the um, training stages because what I do is just very intricate and we'll move on from that. Right. And so I was in training for um, a year, and a, like a year and a half. So it was almost two years. Right. Anywho. Right. So in the course of this training, all of a sudden, Connie became my biggest hater. <laughs> She would go behind my back and she telling all of these basically lies. And so um I am a big reader. You guys know that. Um, but I am a big reader. And because I read so much, like I use words that I read. OK, you know, I don't have to display them all the time. But when it is an appropriate time to use a word that I now know, I use it. So all of that is to say I was using different words because at my job, I have to dictate what I see. And what I'm doing, I have to actually, so dictate is just a big word for speaking to a mic, right? So that's all it is. Anyway, so I had to speak into a mic so everybody um, who's reading a report later on understands what I've seen. And they are basically able to put the picture of what I've seen together uh, via what I said. So um, they didn't like the fact that I was using different verbiage because I wasn't going along with the, with, with this, with the, um, the words that everybody else was using. Well, um, if y'all don't know by now, I'm not that type of girl. Like I can use my own diggity dog on brain. So fast forward the story. Um, again, I did not know that she was going back and forth and basically lying behind my back, but true to form, they didn't do any investigation. 
as far as like the doctors again, because it was all the doctors that were involved with my firing. They didn't do any investigation. I was never called into the office, blah, blah, blah. And unfortunately, I was in one of those states where they could basically just fire you because they don't like you, you know. They don't like you, so they don't got to give no reason on why they fired you. And uh, unfortunately, yes, one day they called me in the office. No, no, no. First, let me back up. You know what? One day they had me working, half a day basically. And I was at this particular job where they was very um, lenient. I was salary at the time. I could take literally hours for a break. And it wasn't something that I just did. We we all did it and we kind of made like a little schedule to keep in contact with each other. And, you know, I'm going to be here, you know, this time, blah, 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 whatever. So I could go and come pretty much as I please on lunch break. Long story short, I worked all morning, got all my work done. So I'm getting ready to I'm actually headed back to work. And on my way headed back, they called me and was like, come to the office. Now, number one, don't nobody call and say, come to the office. Number two, don't nobody be looking for me. So I'm already heightened. Like, what is, what's really going on? So I go in there like the good woman that I am. Nice, cool, calm, and collective. And uh, they, my, um, the lady that actually gave me the position, she basically skedaddle and she was like oh Marshawn I'm sorry like be before they even fired me so she was just like literally I already knew something was going down like because she wouldn't even look me in my eye she's like literally when I say because we was using her office um the the manager's office we were using her office and the doctors was just gonna come in and take over her office to fire me this day and so I'm walking into her office and she's walking now she's like oh Marshawn I'm so sorry so now literally she she didn't explain nothing so I'm already like uh, what you sorry for? But I didn't even get a chance to answer. When I say she was gone, <laughs> you know how they have on the cartoons, the, the big uh, dust pile, and the person is gone, like the cartoon character is gone. Yes, that was her, honey. So I ain't even had no chance, no explanation. The doctors came in, and they did their whole little firing process. And true to form, let me just back up and say, I am a classy woman, and yes, I know that y'all hear about people just going ham when they get fired. I was not one of them people. You know what I turned around to do? I looked them right in the eye and I said, thank you so much for this opportunity. I handed them back their keys. I gave them back all of their stuff. And I was like, you know, you have a nice life. And they were looking like, okay, you know, do we need to get security? Well, I said, you don't have to walk nobody. You don't have to get nobody to walk me out. I'm, I'm grown. I can walk out myself. And then when I got outside, y'all was crying like a boo-hoo baby. I called my dang old mama. <laughs> Like, ma, I don't know what the H then went on. You know, I'm trying to keep this clean because, um, literally, God really intervened this day. Because when I say that I am a true believer in God, like, I am a true believer in paying my tithes and not necessarily to the church per se. But I definitely, when I get my paycheck, I give away 10% of my paycheck. And again, it doesn't necessarily always go to the church house when I give away my money. But anyway, I give away money to charity, volunteer, whatever you want to call it, right? So I give away some money. I still did that that particular Sunday. Uh, I actually gave it to church this particular time. I remember this. And I paid all of my bills and I, and I went ham on my prayers. Like, Lord, I don't know what's going on. I didn't just moved into this nice neighborhood. <laughs> I didn't just moved, literally moved in like maybe six months prior to me getting fired. I have not a plan in place. Like at all, like zero, because this wasn't supposed to happen to you, girl. Like me getting fired, like what? <laughs> fired was not in the vocabulary. Yes, it wasn't about yes, honey. I'm like, I'm like the way they move. Anywho, so right, got fired that day. Boohoo, mama to my mama, and uh, she, you know, she's trying to calm me down, but of course she was happy. You know, she she was going ham on the phone. We're gonna we're gonna keep it clean, but she was going ham on the phone, right? And um. I kept my dignity or whatever. Miracle number two. I did all that stuff I told you about. Pray, ask God what was going on, pay my tithes, blah, 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 right? The next job that came to me, literally, li listen to me, y'all. The next job that came to me, I didn't apply for again. I had no idea that they were even looking for people. When I say somebody called me from the next job, they said, Marshawn, I heard you need a job. And, and the field that I work in is very small. Marshawn, I heard you need a job. Come over here, fill out the application. It's yours. And it was more money. What? 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 You, you bet. You, listen, if you are not into God, 
or a higher being or whatever the word is, insert, you know, you better get on board. Because I'm telling you, when, when I, I'm a prayer warrior anyway, right? So during that, it was two weeks. That's what happened. So I basically had a two-week vacation. And then I was back at work at a new job making more money with less work. And people was coming to me asking me to train other people. And it wasn't that they didn't hear that I got fired. They heard that. I, I didn't even have to have that. Like, when I say that God be working miracles, God be working miracles. Like, that obstacle or that person that's in your way, God might have purposely put that person there. And that's where all of this is going because I really feel that God purposely put that hater in my life to get me fired because I was comfortable. And I think I said I was making um, 40 a year, but I actually bumped up to 45 a year. And uh, that was the most money I was making years ago. And... Um, that was just like I was fresh, basically fresh out of college. Now, people that's fresh out of college don't be don't be starting with no forty five thousand. That that just don't happen. I know what the college degree is supposed to and all that stuff that we have in our mind. That don't happen. You still start at the bottom as far as pay goes, um, the majority of the time when you're fresh out of college. But yeah, so I was bumped up to forty five, and you know I didn't have a child back then. Obviously, y'all know that because years ago, like she just is, she's just now one. So obviously, I didn't have a child back then, and it was just me, and I was just living life, and I was just loving it. So even when I got fired, I wasn't even worried. Like literally, after I had that prayer with God, after I had my talk with God, I left it to God. I left my burdens with God. I took it off my shoulders and gave it to my Lord. And he worked it out for me. I didn't look for another job. And I know that might sound crazy to some people. I didn't even panic. I prayed. I paid my tithes and I moved on with life. And the job called me. Not even a week later. I started two weeks after I got fired. But not even a week later, the job called me. Make more money. Do less work. And then on top of that, I decided to go back to school to pursue my master's degree. So in the course of those two weeks, all of this stuff was transpiring in my life. And I still wasn't even panicked. All of that is to say, I'm going to wrap this story up. I moved out to California. And then my life started here. And if I would not have gone or, or gotten fired you know, out of my comfortable position, if God would not have pushed me out of that position, I probably would have still been there today. Not trying to live my dream. Because this, this right here, this is my dream. To talk about this full time. To travel around and do some things full time. Regarding relationships. So I can help be a part of decreasing that divorce rate. While we simultaneously increasing the marriage rate. That's my dream. Working a job is not my dream. Working a nine to five is not my dream. I'm not knocking anybody where it is their dream. It's just not my dream. And I know that if I wouldn't have been forced out of that situation by that hater. there Honestly, there's no telling what I, where I would have been. And I definitely wouldn't be engaged. And I definitely wouldn't have my daughter. So just think about it. If you are not tapped into God, or if you need to get back in, on track with you being intact with God, there is no time like the present. No time like the present. So I definitely want to thank Clueless Mama D. Check out her channel. Check out everybody else's channel down in the playlist. And I thank you guys for listening. Okay, so I will see you guys tomorrow.